If you've ever uninstalled bloatware apps using the adb shell command and you wanted to install that application again, then follow along in this video as I'll show you how to bring back those pre-installed apps which were removed using adb. Android smartphones come with a lot of pre-installed applications right out of the box. Some of these apps are really useful and ones that we use every single day. But other times we get apps or games which we don't want and never plan on using. One of the first things many people do when they set up a new phone is they go in and uninstall all of the apps they do not want on their phone. Many of these apps can be uninstalled through traditional methods, but there are some that are classified as system apps and those can't be uninstalled like regular apps and games. So I have many videos on my channel here that can help people who want to minimize the apps and services they have running on their smartphones or tablets. This process does not require root access, but it does mean that you have to have ADB and fastboot tools installed so you can execute a couple of ADB commands. Now I've shown you how to uninstall these apps from, cur from the current user profile in these previous videos, so I won't go over that today. Instead, I want to talk about what you can do if you have uninstalled one of these apps or services by accident. Since we are using the command prompt to uninstall them, there are times when we can't just install them again from the Android operating system. So in today's video, I'll be showing you the command you can use that will reinstall those previously removed bloatware apps using the install existing command. Now for us to complete this tutorial, you are going to have to have some things set up ahead of time. For instance, we need to have ADB and fastboot tools installed so that we can execute the ADB shell command needed. Not only that, but you need to have the USB debugging mode enabled on your device as well. And we're also going to need to have the package name of the app or service that you need to be reinstalled. I have videos on my channel that have covered these requirements in the past, and I'll be linking to them in the video, de video description below for anyone who needs help getting up to speed here. Now, once we have all of that set up, we can begin the process of getting back apps or services that have been accidentally uninstalled. So here I have opened up a command prompt in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And before we begin, if you want, we can run the ADB space devices command to make sure that we have a device listed here and it is showing up as device and not something that says unauthorized. We need to make sure we have USB debugging mode enabled so that we can get this type of response and this type of connection from our ADB prompt. Now from here, we need to drop into an ADB shell. So we can type out the command ADB space shell Again, we have our phone connected to our PC with a USB cable. And when we press enter here, you're gonna see us go into a secondary prompt with a different bash right here. This is likely going to be the code name for the device you have connected. But again, we just have a, an additional prompt here that we're going to be executing a command in. I'm going to be using the Chrome application as my example here. So this is the command that you likely used to uninstall the bloatware. You can see we get a success message here. And when that happens, when we uninstall it, we remove that application icon from our home screen because the application is no longer installed to our current user profile, meaning we can no longer run Chrome on our device. However, what happens if we wanted to use Chrome again? Thankfully, we can use the PM 
space install dash existing command. So we type in, again, we're in our ADB shell, and the command we type is pm space install dash existing, and then the package name that we want to reinstall. So if we did com.android.chrome here, then we are going to see Chrome reinstalled on our device like normal. And here is another look at the phone so you can visualize the changes that are happening. So here we are going to uninstall the Chrome application like we normally would. And you can see it has disappeared. And when we want to bring it back, we're going to use that install existing command and then it comes right back. Now I do know that some people will accidentally uninstall system apps which are required in order to boot into the Android operating system. In those cases, you likely won't be able to access Android like you normally would since you're likely dealing with issues including constant force closing or even a boot loop. Now in those situations, I'm reminded of a comment that was made here on my channel that reminded me that we can boot into safe mode first if needed. Now booting into safe mode should eliminate any force closes and boot loops that were caused by disabling the wrong application. So if, for example, you disable the Google Play Services app and you can no longer boot into Android normally to issue these ADB shell commands, then first try booting into safe mode and then following the tutorial here to execute that install existing command.